And now if I want to set hourly reminder, for example, 3 p.m. to set up a meeting, event window is popping up on side with 3 p.m. already set in. Now I can select a meeting, hold and drag and drop into event window. How cool is this? Hi everybody, welcome from My Daily Planners. I'm Andrew Nash and in the last several videos I have shown you four features of our newest digital planner that has Google links for setting notifications and hourly reminders with ease. This is done through Google Calendar, but in fact you don't need to know anything regarding it. Google links are only using Google Calendar's feature for setting notifications. In fact, no need to switch or use it, all you need to set notifications in your digital planner is a Google account. If you don't have one, it's free to sign up and you can use that account only for getting notifications for your calendar events. So in this video I will show you some basic settings within the app and along the way some really really awesome tips that can make your work in Digital Planner even more joyful. Stay tuned till the end and if you haven't subscribed to my Daily Planner's channel, consider doing so as I will continue making videos such as how to get notifications through Planner to the phone, watch, Alexa, Echo and any other device. Okay, so quick reminder, if I click on any time of any day, any week, etc., my Google Calendar will pop up with precise date and time already set in. Just for fun of it, I will deinstall my Google Calendar app to see if Google Links still work. But I do recommend to use Google Calendar app and you will see the benefits in a moment. As you can see, my app is gone. Let's go back to the planner and try again. Click on time. The link opens your default browser and again window for setting events. The first time when you do this, same as in app, you will be asked for your Google account or to sign up for one. As you can see, I already have my account set in within this device, but signing up is very easy. You need first and last name and to choose a username. This is one time thing and you can use that account only for getting notifications. Note, if you have multiple Google accounts, you can use only primary one. Even if you switch to some other account, Google links always lead toward primary account. So app or no app, Google links work either way. Let's go to the month and try Google preview link. Again, we can see at glance all your scheduled events. But I recommend the actual app as the browser notifications are unreliable to use. Also, Google Calendar app is more clear and easier to use. So let's go to App Store and install Google Calendar app again. Search Google Calendar install. And open. Connect your account. Get started. Okay, Google Calendar app is back. So now when I go back to Planner and click, for example, Agenda, I'm getting agenda preview in Google Calendar app. This is a perfect moment to show you one very cool tip. Let's go back to daily page and now take your Google Calendar app and place it on side like a floating window. Slide it off and now if I want to set hourly reminder for example 3 p.m. to set up a meeting event window is popping up on side with 3 p.m. already set in. Now I can select a meeting, hold and drag and drop into event window. How cool is this? 
check your notification settings, hit save and get notified. Slide the window off. And now, every time when you click on the Google link, for example, Google preview or agenda or any time when you want to schedule an event, it's there when you need it and you just slide it off when you don't. Okay, let me show you some basic settings of Google app that can be useful to you. On the left, you have menu and same way as in digital planner, you can preview your day, week or a month. And of course, you have agenda preview for all your upcoming events. In the middle, we have different calendars that are attached to your Google account. And on bottom, we have settings for Google Calendar app. The first option in general settings is start of the week, where you can choose between Saturday, Sunday and Monday option. This is a good option to match up with your digital, uh, digital planner template, as they are coming usually with Sunday and Monday variations. Let me know in comments below what is your start of the week and why. Next, we have show week number, which is useful option and I will turn it on. And below we have default event duration. It's set to 60 minutes by default and you could set to be less than 60 or more than 60 minutes. But when we go back to digital planner, you will see that time increments are one hour between. And this is due to the layout design and practicality of digital planners. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see Google Planner with half an hour increments, as I think that 50 minutes increments would be really too much, as they would ask for four times more links than we have right now, which can ultimately slow down your planning experience. One setting that was important uh, to me in the beginning was default duration for reminders and notification. Not for event, but for reminder itself. And when we go to Google Calendar settings, you will see that we are missing that option. Later on, I found out that we need to go to events settings, where we get default notification duration. By default, it's set to 30 minutes, and we can add multiple notifications for uh, one event or we can add the default notification for all day events. 30 minutes is too much for me, so let's change that and I will go to custom. Now below, you see that we actually can set email as a reminder. Let's do that. And let's set it to 50 minutes before. And now let's add apps notification to be for example, five minutes. So two types of notifications, a uh, reminder within the app and email as a reminder. When we go to all the event notification and choose custom, you will see that we can choose how many days or weeks before we want to get our notification. And of course we can choose the recurring time when that happens. Also, we can choose between notification and an email. The last tip that I haven't shown before is that when you want to move the event, you don't have to edit the event and then manually choose the time. The faster way is to press and hold your event and then si simply slide to the time that you wish for. Just don't forget that you need to move in your digital planner as well. Again, because the planner is a template that has links that enables event window, as you saw before, it's not an app, so it can't be synced with your Google Calendar. Okay, I hope you find all of this very useful. For years, we were getting questions if it's possible to connect Google Calendar with digital planners. And this is the furthest we managed to do. Our shop is the only one equipped with Google links inside digital planners. So subscribe to our channel for future videos where we will demonstrate each of these planners as they came out. 
Ciao.